understanding sand mound in English. Hello, dear friends and language enthusiasts. Today, we're going to dive into the meaning of the phrase sand mound. Whether you're a curious learner or someone who stumbled upon this phrase and wondered what it's all about, you're in the right place. So, let's get into it and unpack the layers of meaning behind sand mound. The term sand mound is made up of two words, sand, which is a granular material composed of finely divided rock and mineral particles, and mound, which refers to a heaped pile of earth, stones, or similar materials. When combined, a sand mound literally refers to a pile or heap of sand that is typically larger than a hill and can be naturally occurring, like a dune or man-made. In English, sand mound can be used both literally and metaphorically. Literal use when talking about geography or landscapes, sand mound can describe natural formations. For example, we saw a beautiful sand mound on the beach, shaped by the wind. Metaphorical use. Metaphorically, it could be used to describe something that is a heap or collection, not necessarily made of sand. For example, the child's clothes were piled in a sand mound on the floor, implying a large, disorganized pile. To fully understand sand mound, it is essential to see it in context. Let's look at a few sentences. The children played king of the hill on the large sand mound at the park. In the desert, you can often find insects and small animals living near sand mounds. The construction site was flanked by a sand mound, providing a barrier against the wind. While sand mound isn't commonly found in idiomatic expressions. Understanding its use can give you a better grasp of English idioms related to sand, such as draw a line in the sand or head in the sand. We hope this exploration of the phrase sand mound has added another layer to your understanding of the English language. Remember, language is a landscape full of interesting phrases and meanings. So keep building your vocabulary one word at a time. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you in our next language adventure.